There's a terrific example in history. It's good for everybody, for protecting us as people, but also, of course, our electrical grid, our uh, internet grid, new scientific probe to have out there teaching us about the sun. It's really useful information, not just for ISRO and, and not just for obviously the Indian space uh, program, but it's something that is sort of vital. Space weather for the world. Well, there's a terrific example in history, Irina. Uh, on this day in the last century, the worst uh, solar event that has ever happened blasted the earth. A huge blob of energy, of high energy particles smashed into the earth and telegraphs were just new there. And it actually set telegraph machines on fire. And that's going to happen again. So when we put something like Aditya up there uh, in between us and the sun to sense those things, to better understand how the sun works and the threats that it has to the earth, it's, it's good for everybody, for protecting us as people, but also, of course, our electrical grid, our uh, internet grid, and all of the thousands of satellites that we count on that are up in orbit. So it's a really good new scientific probe to have out there teaching us about the sun. Well, everybody on the earth is counting on technology just to have electricity in their homes and businesses, to have communications like you and I are talking to each other now, even to have you know navigation for your car and all, all the rest of it. We are counting on uh, a really complicated, interconnected, global electric and data system. And so the electromagnetic energy that comes from the sun is both uh, a benefit to that, but also a huge threat to that. And so putting a, a new sensor in between us and the sun, that it is looking specifically at how the sun sends out these big damaging uh, ejections of, of uh of high energy particles, it's it's really useful information, not just for ISRO and, and not just for obviously the Indian space uh, program, but it's something that is sort of vital space weather for the world.